Hey guys, I'm back with another quick tip on how to do stuff on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So today I'll be teaching you how to SSH into your iPod. What this lets you do is view all the files on your i on your device. So you can potentially combine two really cool themes from Winterboard and you can combine them to make the ultimate theme per se. So the first thing that you want to do is start up your internet browser. I use Firefox. Okay, so once that loads up, the link will be in the sidebar, but the website is www.winscp.com. So you want to click on the download button, and you'll see a bunch of downloads. We'll go with the latest version, and I'll use the portable executable version. And this is a direct link, so just click save file, and click OK. It's 1.5 megs. It should take a little bit to download, probably a few seconds. Just double click on it and you should click run. So a little box like this should pop up right here. And for the host name, you want to put in your iPod or iPhone's Wi Fi IP address that you're connected to. So you want to go to the settings tab on your iPod and you want to click on the Wi-Fi settings. Then you want to click on the connection that you're connected to and click on the little blue arrow. It should tell you your IP address. So it should be 192.168. rest of the numbers are yours. And for the username you should put in ROOT, that's root. And for your password you should put in Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. You should leave the private key file blank and don't mess with the port number at all. So right now, you're ready to SSH. Just click login and make sure your iPod SSH setting is on. Just click login. And there you have it. You are now SSH'd into your iPod. And for the future videos on how to do stuff, SSHing will help you a lot. So I hope you help. I hope I helped and you helped me by watching. So thanks for watching and stay subscribed to for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.